Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm Zombie Cub. And this is our review of the NECA San Diego Comic Con 2019 exclusive Terminator 2 Adjustment Day John Connor action figure with motorbike. Which I just want to call dirt bike, but they're calling it motorbike, whatever. But, uh, yeah, it, this is pretty cool they're making this. It's similar to like when with Aliens where they made Newt. Because Newt's a character, you just didn't, didn't seem like they'd ever make a Newt. Because they don't make a whole lot of little kid characters. And then when they announced John Connor, that was pretty awesome. Because they made Sarah Connor, but there's like no John. He's like one of the biggest parts of Terminator 2 and they didn't have a figure of him. I think they're counting on the enticement of the cool dirt bike to make people buy him instead of just <laughs> the figure. And I think that's a smart move and it also worked. Yes. I'm excited about the dirt bike. But there's a... There's a side effect to that, for me at least. Hmm. That makes me want a Terminator with his big motorcycle. Yeah, that would be so cool. <laughs> I don't know if they'll ever make that, but that would be awesome if they made him with his motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I need to make a T-1000 with a semi-truck. <laughs> oh yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> with, the, with the top brakes. That's not happening. I want a T-1000, <laughs> the semi-truck, and the, and the um, top brakes off. <laughs> they can also make they need a team one thousand with a helicopter too. <laughs> so here's a look at the package, similar to the Sarah Connor figure. It's kind of just like a like a screenshot from the movie, and, <laughs> and there's the <laughs> I didn't know what to say. It's a really big brain fart. That yes, I'm just funny. like well, it's like you look at this and then it's like just, uh... just the same thing. <laughs> Picture smaller, where to turn. It's like, uh... <laughs> There's words on the top. There's words on the other side. <laughs> well, here's the other side. There's a description. A big, long description. Of... The... There's a picture of the figure in the back. And that's pretty cool. And then it's got the Velcro ultimate... Opening up thingy. <laughs> and there's a picture of the figure there. Which looks pretty cool there. And there you can see him in there with his awesome dirt bike. And it's also awesome that John Connor actually exists in figure four. <laughs> <laughs> I like the expression they chose too. He's like attitude. Hmm. And he comes with a little arm. That's a big deal in the movie. And then it's like a little uh, 1990s <laughs> <laughs> hacking device. <laughs> Robot hacking Blackberry. <laughs> What you call that? Okay, well, let's open this up. So there he is opened up. And after looking over him briefly, I really like him. And I really like his dirt bike. They did an excellent job on it. But we'll look at it a little closer. And he's got the alternate head with bandana. Slightly different expression. This is a tough guy head. His little hacking device. <laughs> and then the Terminator arm that's in the case. That's pretty cool. So here's the figure. And it looks pretty cool and he does make that expression so I mean it's good they use that one because <laughs> when I seen it it's like yep that's John Connor. <laughs> <laughs> what Edward Furlong was that his name? It would be cool if he had the public enemy shirt on like he did in the movie but uh, obviously that's another copyright issue that they would have to deal with so that's understandable and it's not that big a deal really he's got his Cal Reese jacket on <laughs> I mean I think they gave him this jacket to kind of make you think of Cal Reese a little bit and uh I mean not NECA but I mean in the movie you know what I mean <laughs> he's got his backpack I guess it's another accessory because you could take this off I didn't even think of that it's a nice looking backpack. Yeah, we can hang out with the Stranger Things kids and they can share backpack stories. We can have a backpack fight. They can ride on bicycles and he can ride his dirt bike. Except that they don't have bicycles. The toys don't, I mean. But yeah, he looks pretty cool. I'd say the one complaint that I have on him though that I noticed is his hair. I mean, this ain't going to be on everybody's most likely, but if you look closely, there's skin color on his hair. I mean, I could fix that. And also, right here, there's a little bit of a... Shiny spot. Yeah, I don't know if it's glue. I'm guessing it's glue, because that's where a piece... Looks like this piece is separate and was glued on. So that's probably what that is. Uh, there's like a little bit of silver on his shirt there, too. 
But maybe that's just T-1000 had a little spittle on him. <laughs> just on him? <laughs> I don't know. Some... Oh, there's another spot. He's got some jeans color on his shirt. So there's a little bit of sloppy paint issues. I could touch them up, but still. They're definitely. not too bad, though. Yeah. I mean, the paint job looks really good, except for the little mess-ups. Yeah. I mean, that's stuff I could fix, but, I mean, definitely going to pull them out. Uh, but I do like the sculpts, the jacket and everything, the pants, the shoes look good. Got his watch on there. The paint on the head's pretty good. Like, uh, on the face part, I mean. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good, I'd say. It definitely looks like him, yeah. I want to see how easy it is to take this off. Eh, pretty easy, it looks like. You didn't even use any glue. <laughs> Something there he is without the backpack on. And that's cool. They did a good job with the, the jacket and the backpack looking like uh, saggy, I guess is the word. Like mm -hmm. how it's wrinkled, like very drapey. Mm -hmm. And here's a closer look at his hacking device. I don't know what else it's called, but it's basically what he uses it for. But it's got a real nice long wire on it. It almost looks like a real wire. You can see like a little computer thing gets screwed into the box here. And it looks like a wire like from the monitor of the computer. Well, credit card and uh Cause that's keyboard. how it works. You just <laughs> plug wires into a freaking eighties credit card. <laughs> That'll work. Nineties. It was the nineties. Nineties, sorry, still. Might have worked. I don't I didn't have a credit card then. I was too little. I don't know how credit cards work. Worked very much because I was a, a little kid. <laughs> but that's cool. I like it. It's got little buttons painted on there, a little screen. Maybe that's for something on the screen, but that's. I mean, if he's not using it, then there wouldn't be anything on a screen, so. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the arm. I haven't checked to see if you can take it out. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I was messing with no, it. Oh, yeah. Um, you don't well, really need to, though. I'm going to compare this to the actual figure. Of the endoskeleton because the arm looks better on the figure. I mean, it'd be cool if they just use the the actual sculpt and maybe modify it a little bit to stick it in there. Cause yeah, it looks like too solid. Yeah, right there in the inside of the hand, it definitely does. And the like right there on the wrist, shouldn't that be like pistons and yeah. like a big thing? It'd be nice if they would have did that. But still, especially I mean, since they don't have to worry about getting broke, it's in a thing. Yeah. I mean, it's still cool it's included, yeah. but it would have been nice if it was just looked a little better. We need to find another Terminator toy for free so we can chop its arm off and make a new one. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we're saying with the the arm. You can see like the... Like that's just like a solid piece in there, where here it's like separate little pistons, like Zombie Cat was saying. And... I'm guessing it's must the design must have changed from Terminator 1 to 2 because this little piece here looks a lot different. And, and the hands you can see that the pieces are thinner and longer and it's kind of chunky on the new one. And also like we're saying like right there it's all smooth but here it's they actually have the detail. And there's the other head with the bandana on. I'll switch them now so you can see that but there Different expression, his mouth is closed. There he is with that bandana on. I'm probably going to keep this head on most times because he doesn't really have this on for very long. But uh, it's still a cool option for like when he's riding his dirt bike or whatever. He also did a good job on his hair. That little flippy to do in the front. Yeah. Looks just like it did. It doesn't. It looks like it's glued on a little bit better than this one because you don't see the seam as much. Also, don't really see that shininess from what I'm guessing is the glue. It could be gloss paint, but I don't know why they put it just in that one spot. This there's, has there's shininess on this side. Oh yeah, there. yeah, there is. This has just a tiny bit darker in the skin too, just a tiny bit. It's because he's mad. Maybe. <laughs> and here's his dirt bike. Or motorbike. Whatever. Motorcycle.
But uh, it comes with this little clear stand, which goes up into that hole there, so it can just sit on its own. So there's a kickstand. A kickstand don't work. Kickstand works. I guess this is for if you want him riding it. The kickstand would be up. You want it to look like he's riding, so you'd have it like that. That makes sense. Okay. The wheels turn, obviously. This one's a lot looser. Like you can just spin it like that. This one doesn't. Still spins. It just doesn't move very much. The handlebars can turn. Turn the wheel. So that's cool. Not really suspension, but not that it matters. <laughs> but I just know some sometimes motorcycle toys ha actually have the suspension in there, but this don't. But that's okay. And there's a lot of detail in there. Lots of little parts that are separate pieces that they glued together. Some motorcycle figures, like say like Marvel Legends, this is all just like a big solid chunk. But this is a whole bunch of different pieces that they put together, so it looks a lot better this way. This white spot is in the movie on the bike, but there's also like a logo. There's red lettering in it. But I'm guessing it's probably for uh, rights issues. They probably didn't want to put that on there. But eh, I don't really care. I mean, no, it's not a big deal. I mean, you could just freaking write it on there if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, with crayon. <laughs> Every time I'm thinking about dirt bikes in my head, I'm always going, Yamaha. Because <laughs> my brother used to have a Yamaha. <laughs> so there he is on his dirt bike. And it takes a little work to get him on there. But he's on there. <laughs> he's not completely sitting down. I do kind of wish he had double jointed knees. That would make that a little easier. And uh, the extra articulation in his torso, I think, helps, helps him get him on there. But I think if you mess with it even more, you can get them on there however you want. But this works for me. I think that looks pretty good. So there he is holding his little hacking device. <laughs> that's just what I'm going to keep calling it. But that's cool. Like when he's breaking into the ATM to steal money. And then uh, I think he uses it later in the movie too. So as for articulation... So I can go up and down like that. It's spin. It's a ball joint, so you know what I can do. But then the shoulders can go up about that far. Go up like that. And then almost 90 at the elbow. And it's spin there. Wait, is that double joint? I think it might be in its stick. I don't know. Can't tell. I think it's. Well, that's weird. It spins at the top of there, and then at the bottom. I'm not sure why it does that. Because uh, I don't think it is a double joint. That's weird. Then the wrist could spin, and there is a hinge. Now the torso, it's a little different than usual NECA figures. He has the joint right there. Hinge joint. Because it's about that far. So he can ride his Cold. <laughs> then it can spin at the waist. Can't really go back and forward too much though. Then at the hips, you can do a split. Spin there. Kick out and go back. Go back about that far at the knee. Spin. Down at the ankles, it looks like a ball joint. That's all of his articulation. Then the motorcycle. You could do that. The wheel could spin. That wheel could spin. Kickstand. And I think that's all. <laughs> you can spin this. <laughs> oh, and this. You can go like this. With this. So there he is next to the T-800 Arnold. Or, and whereas you were singing before you turned the camera on, <laughs> purple lipped Arnold. Purple lipped Arnold. Purple lipped Arnold. Because <laughs> he's kind of got purple lips. <laughs> <laughs> you can also call him Uncle Bob. Can we not? I have an Uncle Bob. Well, <laughs> that's what they call him when someone asks who he is. They say he's Uncle Bob. And there he is next to Sarah Connor. He's Mama. What are you looking at, John? 
We ain't got time to look at stuff. You gotta be a hero in the future. I think he's looking at you. No, he ain't. There he is next to his daddy also. There's his parents, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Cal Reese. Or Lando Calrissian. <laughs> I always think of Lando Calrissian. <laughs> My dad's Lando Calrissian. Maybe not so much Lando, but lots of calories. <laughs> and, Ian. Yeah, no, no Ian's, just, you know. <laughs> and there he is next to the T-1000. Looks pretty cool. Do you know what John Connor is? Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I like this figure a lot. I think it's pretty damn awesome we got a John Connor. And they did such an excellent job on him, giving him his dirt bike, which is a really cool dirt bike. I'm really glad they made that. This this is like one of those things that I would have assumed they would not never make this. And I'm really happy they did. I think it's fucking awesome. Me too. I mean, like we're saying, they, they did a really nice job on a dirt bike, uh, putting all them different pieces in there instead of just making it a big solid chunk like some companies do when they make a motorcycle. And it's very detailed. However, they did make it a big solid chunk with that Terminator arm in there. I don't know why they didn't make that look a little nicer. But, I mean, it's just a little out of accessory, so... I mean, I guess it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really... Gonna, the, the arm is the thing out of the whole package that I'm like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like we were saying, we might... We, I do have the broken Terminator that I might just stick that arm in there, but I don't even know if I really care that much to do it. Cause I'm fine with the way that it is. It's not perfect, but I mean... It wouldn't be hard to do it either. No. Just pop that piece off, shove it in there, and glue it back shut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I like his sculpt. John Connor sculpt, his face and everything. I like his jacket and his backpacks removable. It's pretty cool. His little hacking device. I like that you stuck his other head on the motorcycle stand and yeah. actually fits on there. Yeah. <laughs> <Pretty cool. laughs> NECA makes stands for extra heads, but I'm using that for right now. <laughs> yeah, I think this set's pretty awesome. And uh, it is an exclusive to San Diego Comic Con, so it'd be very difficult to get now. You'd have to pay, I don't know, I haven't looked, but I mean, I'm imagining it's probably a lot more on eBay now. But who knows what they'll do, because there's been other exclusive at these cons where they release them in some form. Like they did with Aliens Newt. They released her later with in a two-pack with Ripley, but she didn't come with some of the accessories that Newt by herself came with. So it could be like maybe there'd be a John Connor figure that doesn't come with his dirt bike or something like that. That would suck. Yeah. The dirt bike's awesome. <laughs> well, some people might not care them. They just want the John Connor. I mean, I could see Those that. Those people are silly. Well, if that's if they were, I was gonna say stupid. It was, but that might be it's mean. tough to get some of them exclusive. So, if yeah. that's the only way you can get it, then it, I mean, no. But I'm saying like it would kind of suck if you didn't get the dirt bike. But if you just didn't want the bur oh, dirt bike, yeah. then what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he does lose it eventually. So, but yeah, I don't know if they're gonna make another set with. John Carter by himself. I don't know if it'd be a two pack again, but I don't know. He may have another type of release eventually. Uh, also, like we we're saying earlier, it would be nice if there was a Terminator Arnold that came with his motorcycle. That would be really cool. Yeah, now that you said that, I really want it. <laughs> yeah, like you're talking about that picture. Arnold turns back and points a shotgun or whatever. It, uh, that mm -hmm. is a really cool image. <laughs> That'd be cool to do with figures. Yeah, it would. But yeah, I like this figure a lot, and uh, if we're able to get him somehow, I'd say get him because he is pretty cool. Yep. Well, this has been Cheeks. And I'm the Bucket. Thanks for watching, and hasta la vista, baby. I need your clothes, your boots, and your John Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to say, please. Please. Oh, well, that's all you had to do. Get in here, boy. There you go, our finest John Connor in the house. Thank you. Let's go. We gotta get out of here.
What a nice guy that was. Yeah, he was a true gentleman. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you can subscribe, Nate. Oh.